The Independent National Election Commission is still counting votes electronically. It's been somewhat slow progress, hampered by the hacking of the official website on Sunday night, which saw fake results posted online, but which didn't affect the counting process itself. While international observers say that the time taken to tally these results isn't cause for concern, local media has already begun speculating over whether the Senate will respect that 8th of November deadline to deliver the provisional result, given that roughly a quarter of the total polling state stations across the country have been completed. Uh, now we're still waiting for results to come in from the major cities including the capital but what we can see so far is that Dr Jean-Louis Robinson, the official candidate of ex-president Mark Ravalamanana is still in the lead with about 26 percent and still in second place behind him is former finance minister Eri Rajal Nariman Pianina with about 15 percent. Uh, analysts say their positions are unlikely to change um, and that no candidate is expected to get that 50 percent needed to be declared an outright winner uh, and both candidates have already said that they uh, have qualified for that second round. Uh, come that time in December, international monitors say they expect to see an improvement in voter registration. The Senate's due to reopen the electoral register for those who couldn't get their names on the list in time and there's already talk about those political alliances that we might see formed in the second round as those two camps essentially representing the former and current powers of Madagascar face off. Uh, certain Certainly people here feel that when they do, the stakes may be somewhat higher. Clementine Logan, CCTV, and Tananarivo, Madagascar.